Okay guys, today we're going to do another bit of recon in our local area here. Last time we went down to the southern end of the region and found a few good spots and caught a few good fish. And uh, of course all of you who know us know that I just love finding new spots. Sometimes I don't even fish the same spot twice. Um, but yeah, today we're going to have a look to the north, inshore and offshore a little bit. And not really chasing any species in particular, we're just going to go and have a bit of fun, see what we can find. Hopefully a new spot hasn't been touched before, because they do exist. A lot of people think that there's a lot of new spots out there that just don't exist anymore. You know, it's hard to find new stuff, but I find them every day. You can actually do it. So we're going to head north, basically, because there's no boat ramps between here and Port Douglas. So there might be a lot of country up there that people haven't looked at yet. So we're excited. It's uh, once again, we're having a, a good explore in our local area here. We're new to the region. And um, yeah, let's go and see what we can find. Right, we've just headed up to the north this time. Uh, had a look at a few little areas. Didn't have too much fish on them, but I've just ventured out a little bit wider. Found a bit of gravelly bottom here. It's got a school of fish on it. They're definitely uh, Lejanids, I think. Possibly nanny guy. A little bit of pebbly bottom here too, so it'd be nice to get a bar cheek trout even. So we'll pull up on them shortly, drop some jigs down and see what happens. Oh, yep, got him on. Luckily I've got a good uh, deep water side imager to help me find these kind of things. This one's a, not a bad fish. Started off a little bit quiet, but he's putting up a bit of a fight now. Oh. <laughs> For those of you who love a bit of bait fishing that don't like to do lure fishing, this is a great form to get into. It's uh, very rewarding when it all pays off. Might be a trevally this one. Sometimes trevally and nanny guy do put up a similar fight. Just depends on the species of trevally. Yeah, it looks like it's a gold spot. Trevally are pretty prevalent on wonky holes. They like to sit just above the reds normally. Yeah, this one did hit me just before the lure did get to the bottom, so probably why it is a trevally. Okay, we've uh, only been able to get a few pelagics on the jigs, but I've changed over to a pilly. See if I can get these demersal fish interested. And uh, definitely got something on here now. Might be a big gold spot the way it's fighting. Come on, come out. Well, this one's got me down in the hole. So I'm gonna try a little bit of a trick here. Gonna give him a bit of free line. Wait for him to move, and then hit him again. Got you, come. Oh, took a couple of minutes, waited for his head to move, hit him hard again, and out he came. The first thing the gull spots or coral trout do in these sort of spots is try and get their head down into the hole. And that's what this guy achieved, but I was a little bit smarter than him this time. He's got a little bit of barotrauma. You can see the air coming out there now. I've just pierced his air bladder. We'll get most of the air out of this fella and he, he should be good to go. Okay, I got all the air out of him. Didn't take very long, which was good. Look, oh, there he goes. The slower you bring those things up, the less barotrauma they're gonna have. That's why he was easy to release. If you rip them up really fast on big hand lines and that, they get full of gas and it's really hard to get it out. And unfortunately they die a lot of the time if that's the case. But because uh, I brought him up slow, I was only using 20 pound gear, I was able to get that little bit of air out of him and off he went. But I'll drop down again, hopefully we'll get a nanny guy this time. That's the prize species that we're after. Okay, back on the slow pitch again. Oh, Nice fish. Smacked it just as it hit the bottom this time. <laughs> it is resembling a a nanny at times as well. Gee, it's hard sometimes to pick these two. If it's a bludger or a GT, it's easy to pick, but Gold Spot Trevally and nannies fight very similar. Here he comes. Oh no, we got the goods this time. Beautiful. Nice little nanny. Look at that. Prime eating size too. Lovely. This is the largemouth nanny guy, also known as the Saddletail Sea Perch. 
Very common on the wonky hulls. They're probably one of the most common of the demersal species. And they just love a slow pitch jig. Well, we've uh, been up to the north of Cairns this time and found a couple of nice little spots once again. Some gold, big gold spot cod, some trevallies. Finally got a nice little nanny. Inshore was a bit quiet, very green water, but we've had a good day. We might uh, head on home and get out of the sun. Hey guys, if you enjoyed that video and you want to see more, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook or Insta, and if you want some special tips that are only sent out by email only, head on over to our website www.rhymedyfishing.com and sign up for free training and email updates. Get into the great outdoors, keep fishing smarter, and we'll see you next time.